yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys d sums here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you another decorating video so this video is part three which is the hardest part for me my office so today we are going to be decorating the office part of our apartment which means there's only one room left in this series which will be our bedroom which i don't think will be that interesting but i still want to do it so i can see visually um what our room is going to look like so right now we've done the kitchen dining room and living room i'm going to show you guys um a little bit of a change so if you don't know we have some issues with our couch if you follow me on twitter you know i've talked about this i've ranted about this if you follow me on twitch i've i've definitely have vented about this but the couch that we had did in the very first episode of this um like a decorate our apartment with me um series was a great cloud couch it was a couch we've always wanted it was the couch of my dreams i've wanted that couch for years now and um it ended up being back ordered but we weren't told that it was back order until a month later so we were expecting to get the sofa early and or just on time and it never was going to be a thing it's not in stock it wasn't going to be in stock and then the news came out about like on all the news cycles that was talking about big furniture big appliances how there was a shipping delay the port of los angeles it was a whole issue a whole thing right now if you're trying to get any big furniture that's not in stock or coming from overseas or whatever the case may be you may be experiencing the same thing that we were experiencing and for that i'm sorry because it is truly 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 stressful and it really dampened our spirits i was very upset very emotional about it but but there was a light at the end of a very 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 dark tunnel because the couch that we originally were going to go for we were contemplating you know that was the couch that we had set on we were we were good until we went in stores and found another cloud dupe so we found another cloud dupe that we've always wanted and it's in a different color so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like the redesign of the living room and then we're gonna come back and get ready for the office
Okay, okay, and we are back and here is the redesign of the living room Um, our our couch is not white. So I, I want to I want to say that because I could not find The color of our couch, but our couch is an ivory color an eggshell an off-white a cream a uh, beige color like that, but it's like really 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 pretty um almost the color of the pillows that you see here That's the color of our couch so this is what I had in game and I wanted something similar. We're also not going to have a back piece right here. This is actually a chase, but this couch in the Sims, of course, didn't have a chase. So we kind of made with what we have. So you can see that the couch is bigger. We're expecting it to be bigger. Um, we are going to be getting a big print or a big like picture above our couch. Now uh, we kind of went away from putting a shelf above it. Um, so we're going to be doing a big picture. We don't know what that's going to be, but we did go to at home, which is going to be a vlog coming to our vlogging channel. It's probably, it's going to be our first video, which is going to be our vlog. We went decor shopping probably like three weeks ago. Um, just cause we were like super excited and wanted to get a jump on getting things. Um, because in summer everybody's moving. So everything was like selling out and stuff. So, and you know, the world is free now, girl. The world is opening back up my my sis so people are out and about and shopping and doing their things our fully vaccinated friends are out and listen i ain't mad at y'all <laughs> so we went uh decor shopping we found a lot of good pieces a lot of things that we want to incorporate into our space but we didn't buy a lot of those things because first we need measurements like we need exact measurements in our apartment um, we want to see how much of the how much space the couch actually takes up is to see if we even have room for things like this chair or even a nice circle coffee table again i could not find a coffee table that i want um we do want a circle coffee table so we're still on the looks of that but things that we're not worrying about right now is this accent chair and, and the coffee table we just wanted a couch um like i said we will be getting a print we'll be doing these sconces they won't be hooked up electrically they'll be hooked up with um like led bulbs that have remotes or like you can use the app off our phones and we're going to be hooking them up with like um command strips or whatever because like i said this is an apartment so apartment friendly diys um i did change our curtains to be more of that ivory color um i changed our tv stand is exactly the same but this color actually matches it a little bit more even though it has all of those wood grains in them and like different colors and stuff Again, we don't know if we're gonna have space for a bookshelf or things like that. We're, I was just filling the space for Sims for it to still look good and things like that. So you guys have to come along with us when we do our apartment and our like our decorate in our apartment in real life and also like the empty apartment tour. All of that is coming up this week. Um, it should be on our vlogging channel very soon. So if you haven't followed our vlogging channel, hello. If you have not followed our vlogging channel, I will put the link in the description down below and you guys can go and go there and content for that will be coming very, very soon. I know we've been saying that, but we've also been moving and packing. And it's, if you're moving and packing, you just know, sis, you just know that it's difficult and it's stressful. So just, just bear with me. I promise I'm still working. Um, so about the kitchen, because now we're not going for the cool tone, I would say before we were trying to go with the cool tone with our grays and our blues but now that we're not going that vibe we're not really sure if we want to continue to do the kitchen in the black we've been thinking about finding a very ashy wood uh tone if we can or even just keeping our counters at default we really want at now because our couch has changed and it's changed the entire look of our living room we're trying to redesign our open space so it you know flows better and we don't know if we're going to keep the black cabinets because um the simple fact that we're going warmer and i think a brighter color cabinet will also open the space and make it look a little bit brighter so um we are going to be using black ac accents of course but we don't think we're going to we don't know we don't know if we're going to wrap the counters um in this black we found like a black wood grain uh wrap that we can use uh contact paper made out of pv pvc whatever um so we don't know if we're going to keep that if we're going to keep them how they are or if we're just going to find a different color um maybe even a white color just to brighten up the space but everything else that you see is pretty much staying the same um again these chairs the chairs that we're getting are acrylic they're not gray but we didn't have anything in the sims and everything 
it, everything else is pretty much staying the same, but the couch is bigger and this space is just brighter in general. And that just makes me happy. So let's go ahead and get into the office build. Tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I'd rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play beginning i just didn't know that you're an enemy i held too close now i know cause you did everything to prove me wrong you were not the guy i thought now i'm beating you at your own yeah if i got a dollar for every time you slam the door i would be the richest girl alive alive you wanted was a game to play
Someone else trying to forget And get you out of my head No I deleted all your messages Cause it only reminds me of the past But you're still drunk texting me When you're lonely Try again. You're not listening. No, you keep saying you change, but we both know people don't change. It's time to let me go. Why won't you leave me alone? I deleted 
deleted all your messages Cause it only reminds me of the past But you're still drunk texting me when you're lonely yeah. I don't know why you keep calling me on my phone Thought I was clear, I'm not your friend I'm not the old me, you think I'm the same I deleted all your messages oh, no. Cause it only reminds me yeah. of the past But you're still drunk texting oh. me when you're lonely yeah. I don't know Why you keep calling me on my phone Thought I was clear I'm not your friend I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time To protect my love from potential offense So I is here y'all i love how this turned out so much like it is just so like everything i want it was it's everything i want and i really want to mimic this as best as i can so this may look a little crazy but i have a crazy serious yarn collection um i do crochet and knit and i couldn't i couldn't do what i wanted to do here so <laughs> this is what i came up with but i really want to display my yarn because like i said i have a really really a big collection in a short period of time like i don't know like when i got into crochet a couple months ago i don't know if it was yarn season or whatever but it was like the period in the year where yarn was just going on sale non-stop and i couldn't help myself so right now i have a really big yarn collection of different types sizes and colors and i really want to display it because i know me i'm a visual person if i see it i'll actively do it and crocheting is a huge stress relief for me so i really want to display my yarn so it gets me in the process of actually crocheting consistently again before my like before my eyes and stuff was messing up back in april 
I was consistently crocheting and stuff and it was really, really, really therapeutic for me. So yes, of course I want to, this is a, actually, this is funny. This is a paternity <laughs> certificate, but girl, it looked like a degree. Um, I really want to display my degree. I've never displayed it. It's been in its original packaging for when they shipped it to me forever. So now that I have my own space, I can display it properly, girl. Um, over here, this is my desk and my desk is really close to this. So I have like, uh, I have a butcher block or I don't know if it's a butcher block, but it's a solid wood desk from Ikea. Well, it's like a, a countertop, a solid wood countertop. And then I have the Alex drawers that I tried to mimic over here. And then I have like two regular legs. Um, I already purchased my, my three new monitors that we have raised money for on Twitch. Those monitors are already here. They finally came back in stock before we move, which is great. And I have the mount for them as well. So I'll be running a three monitor setup. This is, uh, these are both, I think like mini tablet TVs, girl, don't ask questions. This is, will be my Go XLR and this will serve as my stream deck. And of course I have my switch over here, my mic. So I really tried to make this as real as possible. I always have something to drink on my desk because I'm always thirsty. Well, not really, but girl, I just like having some drinks um this was supposed to serve as a ring light but sis i don't know it's cute though so i kept it there um and what you see behind it are actually one of the diy projects we're going to be doing in my office um we're going to be doing some 3d wall panels and we're going to be putting them on backer board and then or i think we're i think we said we're going to put them on foam board because foam is not as heavy but basically it's these thin 3d panels they're super cute and of course that diy will be up on our vlogging channel when we get to it um we're going to be doing some 3d wall panels pretty much up into where you see the shelf um there was no 3d panels in the sims so i had to use wallpaper so that's why it's going all the way up the wall but just picture it to coming up to probably where the shelf is or maybe even a little higher um and we're going to get this long floating shelf from ikea and i want to um there's a couple of neon signs in here and we're going to go over that as well but child i want this a uh, cute little sign or some kind of letters that says game over i think that's really cute and game related and one thing i really want up here is this thing i can't think of it my head is my head is my mind is blinking but i want one of those to give a, a little homage to my theater background um, I thought that'd be fun. Uh, also I found this ladder bookshelf in the Sims and I thought this was perfect. Again, I don't know if I'm going to have this space because the scale in Sims is, um, is not accurate to our apartment at all. So this desk is not going to take up the whole wall, but I don't even know if I'm going to have space to put in these things, but I did it for the Sims. Just filled it with some stuff, some knitting stuff, my AL. EXA some decor books that I'm going to be getting from the thrift store. I can't wait to go thrifting. I'm so excited. Some plants and candles, of course. And then over here, which is something I was searching for, which is something that also got canceled when our couch got canceled. I want a cozy corner because sometimes I do have to take eye breaks. I do need to get off of my computer. I work a lot on my computer for multiple, multiple hours in the day. And I wanted a cozy corner where I can get off and like really like relax and not have to leave my office because my office, I'm trying to treat like an office as if you were going to your regular nine to five. I'm trying to set office hours for myself, times when I need to be in the office and times where I need to be out the office, which is probably going to be the hardest part because I have a hard time separating, like getting off the computer. Like if, if I'm not doing anything, I'll still be on my computer. I'm trying to separate myself from that and spend other spend time in other rooms in the house. Um, so I'm not just always at my computer. And this is something an uh, office space is exactly what I need because I'm a disciplined type person. If I discipline myself to have office hours and be actually in the office and working, then I'll stick to it. So this office is more than just a room. It's really to help me with productivity and just being more productive throughout you know the day and also remembering that i need to take breaks because i have a hard time doing that because my job is fun and i love my job i will do my job 24 hours a day and that's not good for me so everybody always tells me do you take breaks rest and all that kind of stuff I'm fine even though i don't want to but the office will definitely give me the discipline to do that so again i found another beautiful uh uh print at uh at home and i really want to put it in my space i don't know what that print is going to be but for right now this match didn't look 
cute. I want some super comfy pillows that I'm hoping to get from Ikea next week because they're out of stock, girl. They're always out of stock. It's annoying. Um, This area, I'm not going to lie, looks really sad. <laughs> it looks really sad. I still don't know exactly how I'm going to do this space, but I do have the little, I don't, I think it's called the Calyx, the eight piece, the eight cubicle. I do have this system already. I'm thinking about getting more. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want to display, like things that have been sent to me PR wise and just things I want to get. Like I really, I, I don't know what it is, but I have a thing for like really old typewriters and I think they're really great decor pieces. So I really want to find something like that. I have a lot of plushies, Animal Crossing plushies that I want to display. So this isn't like enough, but we're going to make it enough, period. Um, up here, you see these two Simlish type neon signs. So my thing, which I've been looking for for a while now is I want a custom neon sign that is basically two lines. The top will say D and the bottom that you see here will say squad. So this will say D, this will say squad. So D squad will be in the back. Um, also, this is to play as my play button. I have never unpacked my play button because I have never had a proper place to display it. And it is something I work so hard for and I don't want to display it until it's in the right way, sis. So, um, We'll be unpacking that and putting that up when everything is ready. And of course they have these little shelving units at Ikea that I can just pick up and grab. So yeah, like I said, this space is a little sad, but we're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna work. Okay. And then we got some extra letters and stuff over here and that's pretty much it. But I, like I said, I really love how this turned out. I can definitely see this being my office. I can definitely get used to this sis because it's just it's everything this is something i've always wanted i never ever thought when i started youtube even when i started youtube full time i never thought i would get to the point where i you know like i felt like oh i need an office so this is a really big moment for me it may not seem big to y'all but to me this is very very important to me and i just can't wait to put this all together yes but let me know what you guys think of the new like renovations also what do you guys think of the office did i miss some let me know in the comments down below but I, like i said i really can't wait to get this together it, uh, by the time this video goes up we're actively moving so i think this video is going up either friday or saturday and that's when we're moving into the new spot so enjoy this video videos will be back very very soon as soon as i can but like i said there's a lot going on a lot of unpacking a lot of shopping a lot of everything that needs to happen so please be patient with me um but yes 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 make sure you follow me on twitch because if anything i will be streaming because that is the easiest thing to do so uh follow me on there and i'll see you guys remember what i'll see you guys i'll see y'all over there all right <laughs> remember to stay beautiful stay lovely and have a grand grand day wait did i say that right remember to stay beautiful stay lovely and have a grand grand day